Good afternoon, Pigholic friends. Today is September 11th, and I'm going to show a couple of things here. Here's um, a Sierra variety fig tree that I grafted a lot of other varieties onto, mostly varieties that were either growing slow for me out in the main orchard um, or where I just needed more um, cuttings of a particular variety. And I'm not quite sure yet what I'm going to do with some of these. I'm probably going to air layer them off and um, you know, root them and um, plant them in the ground um, because I got too many mixtures on one tree. But I have um, here one graph that broke. Um, it wasn't supported sufficiently. Um, and my worker Thai bamboo stakes. Um, I need to maybe give them a little bit of training on how I want this done here. It would be better if some of these went all the way down to the ground level into the ground some. But um, anyway, it, most of these are okay. Um, but I have some of the old original branches that are taking up too much energy. I need to cut those off. So I'm going to have my trusty assistant Linda here um, take over recording um, some of my wasted time I play solitaire on my phone and I keep seeing ads on there and saw an ad for this saw and actually it was a scam I think it was um, they would show this still GTA 26 in the video but when you actually went to click it and go through they were selling you some knockoff that um, an unbranded thing that you couldn't really do any search to see whether it was um, reliable or not and it was something like $30 for a battery operated chainsaw and I didn't want to waste my money on that I'd rather waste them um, $149.95 on a still that has a good reputation I have um, three still chainsaws regular cha well one's a pole chainsaw and um, a couple with I think 16 inch bars I have an electric um, chainsaw of another brand, um, Greenworks, that gets a lot of use because it's handy. You don't need to start up an engine, just push a button. And so this is um, um, the saw, and I've never used it before. Um, I'm not, oh, this is for um, taking off the blade. This doesn't have, this looks similar to um, um, the fuel caps and oil caps on um, regular gas operated chainsaw but this does not have a built in oiler on it but it's $149.95 and I saw some user videos of this it's got a nice little guard on it because these um, chains are quite sharp um, and so you do need to oil it by hand so they give you a little bottle of bio oil which um, and it's marketed it as a garden pruner. Um, so I'm, um, I've got cut the top off of here, I guess. So I'm going to have to cheat a little. Or maybe it's got a seal on it. Yeah, I didn't. I just got this this afternoon. And since I had to go to Lodi and I drove right by the place and I I had one hanging. I had to charge it up. It wasn't charged very well. That, that should be enough oil. Um, and it only had one green light on it when I had pushed the button when I got home with it. So I'm going to, here's um, a safety feature to um, you gotta put your thumb down. It will send some oil off, so don't point it at clothes or somebody else's clothes when you start it. They, um, in the company videos, they say to operate with two hands, and I'm not going to do that. Um, because one thing I want to do is cut off branches that I don't need. I want more growth to this, so, you know, this is something I, I can't prune off with some loppers very easily. Um, I gotta be careful not to cut off a branch that I have a graft on to, but back here is one. I can't cut it off completely because my worker has tied a bamboo stake onto it here, but I can get this out of the way. Cut the bamboo just slightly. No 
still hold in some. Just obviously I could use some hand clippers to cut this off. But rather than switching hands, and there I made a mistake actually, that I should not have cut that off. That was um, a Bergen Unknown branch. It came, I just come in here and look, I wasn't paying attention. I'm, uh, but here was my graft, and I thought that just this here was my graft. So I'll end up rooting that. My original Bergen Unknown is growing quite slowly. Um, I've had it for over two years. I got it from Brian. And um, this is doing much better here. But I can root that cutting. It's a green cutting and very rootable. Um, so I don't want to cut this off. That's grafted. Um, I can prune a little bit more in here. You've got to be careful not to make a pretty small battery. I'll just take it out real quick and show you. There's a buttons on each side, so i got to push two buttons. So now I need to turn it back on again since I had unplugged it. Um, that's the S grafted. I'm just going to cut through a branch like this very well with it, but I saw someone, some silly video, um, you know, a user video, he um, cut down, he said he was going to prune his tree, and he cut down maybe a tree that had an 8 inch trunk diameter, but he had to attack it from three angles and cut out wedges, and uh, it was sort of a, a goofy, fun video, I guess. So, you see this here, it's being support, supporting this graph here, so I can't really cut that off. So I'm not going to cut that other Bergen unknown off now by mistake. Um, so that's enough to give an example. So I don't know how long it's supposed to run, but um, you know I have um, a lot of. Um, my friend Marta accuses me, I just like playing with tools. And maybe she's been talking with Linda some or whatever, but um, <laughs> Linda's smirking here. But I, you know, $150 is a bargain, I think, for this tool. I probably, when I first saw it, I thought that the real thing probably would be you know, over $200, maybe $225. Um, and I would have bought it for $225. But, um, and you can't get discounts on steel products. Um, you always sell them at full retail price, which I find if they price them out at a fair value, I'll pay full retail price. Then. So sorry um, for making a mistake there and cutting my friggin' unknown, but um, I guess I'll root it and um, you know sell some trees of it or, or get those planted. One thing I've reported, you know, on uh, my Black Madeira videos sometimes is that cuttings. And black Madeira had traditionally grown rather slowly, but when I have a vigorous tree growing and I root those cuttings, I've had some people that bought a black Madeira cutting from me and it um, grew to five or six feet in the first year. So it seems that cuttings such as this that are growing vigorously um, will root and grow more quickly than um, taking a cutting off of a slow growing tree that has weak roots on it. There's just not much energy in the wood, it seems. So, Hopefully Linda agrees that my purchase was a good value and you know I have a, a razor saw it's called a little hand folding um, hand saw and that works pretty nice but still um, getting wedge into green wood and all that um, um, makes it slow sometimes so thanks for watching have a good day.